Oh, hello. Didn't see you down there. Can I ask you a quick question, actually? You ever wanted a Mac to not suck? Well, today I'm going to show you the best Mac that you can possibly buy for having a Mac that doesn't actually suck. Let's take a look. What you see in front of you is a 2010 Mac Pro. And these Macs are made to be amazing. Uh, oh wait, let me get to the good stuff. As you can see, they have standard PCI Express slots. They have PCI Express power connectors, fans uh, that are replaceable, Wi-Fi, uh, the CPU card goes here, um, uh, a regular GPU. Um, it's just a, a regular desktop tower. It is like the ricer car of Macs, and they can go up to the latest OSs. I've previously shown you what that's like on a MacBook, but today we're gonna explore the process through um, the Mac Pro. So let's get it all, you know, we're doing some basic maintenance right now. Got to clean up the heat sinks, uh, replace the thermal compound on what I can. Um, and uh, yeah, then we'll uh, we'll get it booting and we'll try throwing open core at it. So to start with, I'm going to clean and disassemble the GPU that came in it. This is a Mac specific AMD card, an early AMD card. <clears throat> Hold on, should be here on the housing somewhere. Ah, an ATI Radeon HD 770. So, very old card, um, but, you know, that's what came in it for now, from 2012. And to get to the actual die to replace the thermal compound, pretty dang easy. All we had to do was take off the um, back support spring here, and that was just with a uh, Phillips Zero. So, nice and easy to get to the cold plate. Uh, man, I miss, uh, I miss GPUs being this easy to take apart. One fan cable, four screws. She's open. Um, if I were to do a complete restoration of this GPU, I'd want to replace the thermal pads under here as well. But uh, I probably won't end up using this for that long, simply because uh, it doesn't really have the outputs I need. Um, DVI is all we'll be using today, so we'll be able to boot the machine and take a look at it. But um, yeah, I, I don't really want to deal with this mini DisplayPort nonsense. Now this here is the CPU card from the 2010 Mac Pro. Um, <clears throat> she's a beauty, isn't she? Uh, look at all that memory. Got eight slots of memory, two CPU coolers, um, and it all connects from this like easy removable um, card that goes into the bottom of the Mac. So this is pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm just noticing now that these are uh, Allen heads and they're really, really deep. Obviously they're at the bottom of the heatsink. So I don't actually have an Allen key that can take these off right now. Um, I ordered some, but won't be able to repaste those right now, but we should have all the RAM we could possibly want in here, at least for now. And uh, yeah, no real maintenance to do on these, but I just thought it'd be cool to take a look at it. Um, oh, one other thing to mention, these are Westmere uh, CPUs. That's the architecture. So they run Xeon uh, Westmere. And if you're shopping yourself, you want to look for an X series processor being listed for the, um, <clears throat> for the Mac because the W series processors were the single uh, CPU variants, meaning that they'll only have one cooler, uh, one socket, and I believe one area for RAM. Whereas the X series processors were used in dual CPU configs, meaning that you'll get up to 12 cores, which this currently has. It doesn't have the highest performing 12 cores. I have those on order as well, but for now, more than, more than adequate. Mm. Now I think about it, I lied. There was some maintenance to be done here. Uh, one memory channel wasn't uh, wasn't working when I uh, was last looking at it uh, at the store, testing it out. Um, but I moved the RAM sticks around and then the non-working memory channel moved. So that tells me that it's actually just a stick. So I'm gonna go through and just clean all the, all the RAM off Modules, throw them back in and hopefully it'll appear when we reboot the machine. So most of the memory in the system is OWC, Otherworld Computing, 1333 megahertz, ECC, unbuffered I'm sure, uh, DDR3, ECC. So if you're looking to upgrade or replace the memory in here, um, you're going to need ECC, either buffered or unbuffered DIMMs, um, but you cannot mix them. So they'll have to be ECC, unbuffered, or registered, I believe is what I meant to say. Registered, not un... There have to be, yeah, registered or non-registered. You can't have both. You'll have to choose one or the other. Um, as long as they're all the same, it should work. 
Um, that being said, yeah, I'm gonna go through and clean all these modules and put them back in. Might give the slots themselves a bit of a dusting. They've got some bunnies going on in there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if that memory channel comes back. All right, <clears throat> so that should be it for that. The Westmere CPU family uses DDR3. So this is ECC DDR3. And with that done, you might be asking what comes next? So currently the GPU is this old ATI, I'm thinking of replacing it with this NVIDIA temporarily. This will go up to High Sierra. Um, I believe this one will go further because I think it supports metal. So I need to do some testing here to figure out, you know, if I'm kind of GPU locked out of high, uh, above High Sierra anyway, then I'd like to throw this in for now, the Titan X Maxwell, until I buy like a newer card that can support those newer operating systems like Big Sur, Monterey, Catalina, whatever. Uh, yeah, 10 gig networking card, dual NIC. I don't really need the dual NIC, but it has it, and uh, that should be pretty damn obvious. 10 gig networking is sweet. Other than that, modern peripheral card. So we've got three USB 3.2, two type C. Um, it's also, yeah, that's pretty simple as well. Just modern, you know, USB device support is nice. And then finally, um, this is another one that's kind of like, I don't think it'll do what I want it to, but it would be sure cool if it did. Um, and that is an NVMe to PCI Express um, adapter. So this supports both SATA M.2 drives as well as NVMe uh, M.2 drives. Now I have confidence that the NVMe drive will work, but whether or not it's bootable is another question. Um, if it isn't bootable, then I, I'm sure that the SATA um, drive will be bootable. Um, so either way, this is going in the machine and then the, um, the NVMe will just be for high speed storage for like editing and stuff. Um, or, you know, if, if it will boot off the NVMe, then the SATA portion will be for, uh, higher speed storage. Um, and that takes care of the add-in cards. You want to see me install like 32 gigs of RAM and two CPUs in like five seconds? Oh, damn it. Well, the joke was you want to see me do it again, but I didn't install it properly. <laughs> With all that, we're ready to turn on and see if it works. Not Apple official, but gray. All right, Let's see if there's magic. It's making noise. My monitor on, but it's not. I don't know how it is. Show me the big dong. Come on, dong. Yay, big dong. We like hearing dong. We here at this channel love dong. Oh, I forgot to put that back in.
so I'm gonna have to go do that later. Uh, we're just getting a white screen at the moment. All right, we got the memory curve fluffles solved. All 32 gigs have been detected. Um, so I think it might've just been the CPU needed a little bit of pressure put onto it. Um, so I'm sure when we, when we replace the CPUs with the best ones, um, everything will be good. But uh, yeah, for now, we got two 2.4 gigahertz, six core Intel Xeons, 32 gigs of DDR3, and it seems like all of our drives are showing up. This would be the one that came in the system. Uh, my one terabyte SATA SSD, the 512 NVMe SSD, which looks like it, it might not be bootable, um, but we'll, we'll try it out. Um, <clears throat> the two, uh, two terabyte drives, which currently have data on them that needs to be removed, and uh, an installer disk for Big Sur, which I may or may not make use of. So yeah, all that's left to do is sign into my Apple ID and we'll have a Mac that doesn't suck. So uh, thank you for taking a look. Um, it sure was uh, fun to build this out. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for one for yourself, these uh, can run open core and be put onto, you know, things like Big Sur, um, which, you know, we're gonna get to uh, in the next episode. So thank you for watching and uh, have yourself a good day. Hello. Hello. Hello.